All right. So there are three tiers to, to leads, and I'm just going to kind of junk them down for you a bit. The three tiers to leads are very simple. Tier one, tier two, and tier three. Okay, so whenever somebody's trying to plan their 2024 lead generation, I always say you should have a combination of one method of lead generation in each of the tiers. So tier one, for example, is business that's going to give you about a 60 day or less return. Um, a great example of that would be your actual database, your friends, your family, anything that is very referral based, B2B relationships and whatnot. Those are the ones that are going to get you that immediate return on your investment. So having a very good method of working that and focusing on that would be really good. Tier two is anywhere from about that three months to six months out. Probably one of the best methods for tier two lead generation, in my opinion, is doing open houses. Um, that's definitely or doing online webinars or in-person seminars. Those are usually tier two uh, type style of lead generation. And then tier three is longer term. It takes six months or, or longer to cultivate and turn on it. Um, two examples of that would be cold calling and door knocking. So as you're planning your business and, you know, a lot of people are coming to me saying, what do I do with lead generation? What do I pick? I would say pick three, pick three sources of lead generation, become a master at one in each of the tiers so that you have a constant and steady flow. Um, if you have a lot of business in tier one, you're going to get overwhelmed fairly quickly because you're always going to be running. But if you have a good combination of, let's say, seven in tier one, seven clients in tier two, seven clients in tier three, then your funnel is always going to be moving and then it's always going to be turning. So you have a bigger, better business long term. But be very cautious about picking, you know, just all your lead generation in, let's say tier three, and then expecting you to have really good results at the beginning of the year. I would focus at the beginning of the year on tier one activities so I can start, you know, getting myself into the green with a little bit of focus on tier two. And then in about 60 days, start turning it on for tier three. Once I know my tier one and my tier two are very good. Um, so that's kind of how it works out. So always be looking at your lead generation sources, seeing where they fit in the tiers and making sure that you don't go too heavy in one tier um, and not paying attention or seeing the benefits or disadvantages of doing that. Make sure you have a well-balanced tier one, tier two, tier three. Good luck.